To my lovely Geminis and cross watchers, thank you so much for an amazing 2021. This is for 2022, the predictions that I see for the overview of the entire year. This is going to tell you what's trending throughout the year, what the challenges, the gifts, everything you need to know about 2022. So let's jump into this reading, and I just want to thank all of you for your likes, subscribe, shares, comments. Thank you. So when we look at the overall energy of this reading, and for the year of 2022, your hard work is paying off. Moon in Capricorn. New moon in Capricorn. Gemini, we are having, for those of you who are Gemini, uh, risings as well as sun signs, we do have the North Node, which has been teaching us very tough lessons in the past year. It leaves a sign of Gemini this year early. So just in a few weeks, it will move into the sign of Taurus. So yay, we've been schooled and we have succeeded because our hard work is paying off. So when we look at the overall energy, Gemini, we have listen. Spirit is telling us to stay very still, to be very attentive, and to meditate because a lot of messages are going to come through for us that will help us with our prosperity and happiness for the new year. I'm a Gemini, so I said us. All right. The Star Fairy is an absolutely special a protective spirit that is watching over us for the year of 2022. The star fairy is there to lend a helping hand, very much like a guardian angel. The star is there to help you find your mat, your path to illuminate the way at night or when you feel like you're in the darkness. You can see she is all lit up. She will guide the way when we are confused. The animal spirit is calling us to otter. That is that you, the messages with otter spirit is it, it's going to be a playful year. It's going to have a lot of fun. It's heart-shaped, and you are never alone, Gemini. You have friends. You have all people, so many people around you that truly love you, and they are going to spend a lot of time with you this year. You are never alone spiritually, emotionally, or in the mundane right here today you will have a lot of interaction and a lot of fun this year with those that you care deeply about for whom care deeply about you miracles are happening this year gemini we see expect the wondrous to emerge the beautiful genie in the bottle is here in the lamp waiting for us to wish upon a star but remember we must wish wisely all right so when we look at the tarot scope spreads we're looking at the astrological houses and what's going to happen in each area of your life so it's a great way to look at the overview gemini you are in the king of cups scorpio energy you are a powerhouse. You are standing tall. Nothing can defeat you. You're very calm, cool, collected. You're very happy. You're very much one with yourself. The ships are coming in. They're arriving in the harbor, just as our overall energy is providing for us, that our hard work is paying off, and it's visible now. If we couldn't see it before in the year 2021. It was only something that we could perceive would happen. The high priestess, okay, for so those are you who have partnerships. This is Cancerian energy. The partners in your life, when we look at the astrological energy, are marital partners, business partners, and all of those who partner with us in a way that indicates that they have a legal responsibility to us. So our doctors are our partners because they legally have to perform their responsibilities to us in a very, very specific way. The same thing is true of financial advisors. The same is true of lawyers. 
So, and then also to those partners that we would marry or business partners. There's always a legal written agreement. The high priestess says that you're going to enjoy the very best partnerships with people who are discreet, with people who care about you, and with people who will give you their best nurturing, the best care that you could possibly receive in any area of your life in which you partner with them. Money, look at this, the Knight of Wands, you are on the move. You will have a number of ways in which you make money this year, Gemini. Look at you are leaping through a hoop of fire. You are looking like a very skilled, skilled equestrian. Absolutely nothing daunts you this year. This is Sagittarius energy. You may travel a lot. You may find that clients come from many, many spaces and many places. But the Knight of Wands is very exciting. It's very, it's just energetic. It's sexy. It's fun. You will be looking good. Some of you may even buy a horse. Some of you may invest in something to do with having a ranch, but generally speaking, this is very exciting news, very fast movement in attaining your financial goals. When we look at the house that shows us a partner's money, the house that it tells us, it's the sun card. This is the house of our investments. This is a house of our credit score. This is an indicator to us that we are being blessed. We could be blessed with an inheritance, and I don't mean one through, you know, death or life. What I'm talking about is we inherit all of our hard work, all of our goodwill comes back to roost in our eighth house of money, other people's money. We will be rock stars this year. We have this energy that is attracting people to us. We're fun. We're exciting. The money comes into our the coffers of our investments. Everything that we invest in this year will bring us a big payoff that makes us very happy. We might be able to travel a lot this year. We might absolutely create a job in which we get to a travel. Sagittarius energy around the globe, make money, having fun. Oh, Gemini, what could be better than that? The third house of where you live, you know, this is your neighborhood. This is not your physical house, but it is the neighborhood in which you live. You are grounded. You are secure. Contracts come through for you that are lucrative this year. Your client base, your the people that you work with and communicate with uh, are going to be a source of stability, of money. You will be giving a great deal of energy with this Capricorn Queen. Very stable. Your year is looking great for you. You like where you live. You like the people in your neighborhood. Brothers, sisters, contracts. Very lucrative. Again, the Queen of Money, the Capricorn Queen. It's the harvest for you of all of your hard work that you've done previously. Now, when we look at the ninth house, we do look at uh, higher education, philosophy, religious beliefs. Uh, the ninth house is also international travel. You may travel alone this year. If you do travel abroad, it may also, you may decide not to. The Hermit card says that you'll have an invitation to go somewhere and you will give it serious thought, but you will, you might not be able to act on it this year because you are going to be so busy in your career, in your partnerships, and building your money and cash. So when we look at the energy of the Nine of Pentacles, your home is looking good. It's beautiful. Your relationships with family, with friends, with everybody that you nurture, those that you love, the heritage of those people that love you. You are powerful. It's Virgo energy now twice. So you're paying attention to the details. Your home is looking. This is a physical home now. The house that you live in is looking stunning. You are very likely to enhance 
enhance an office area with the Queen of Pentacles. You're going to have uh, areas in which you entertain. I think you're going to be so focused locally that you're going to leave international travel to another year. We look at, uh, I also think you're going to be studying a great deal. The Hermit is seeking answers. I think for many Geminis, it's a self-study in your own office, in your own abode, in your own home, and it will be far-reaching studies. It will be very, very geared towards esoteric studies for those of you who are interested in learning astrology, for those of you who are interested in learning tarot or divination, but it's wonderful energy because it brings prosperity. Your prosperity will be shown throughout your home and creating an abundant, beautiful place to live. The Page of Wands is in your 10th house. What we see here is that you're striking out as a almost like a teenager with excitement, looking for answers, throwing caution to the winds. You're going to feel like you're a kid in search of a gold, you know, a gold chest or a chest of gold. And this year is your year to find it. We see all of this energy. You're going to be a very steadfast student, enjoying and being playful and having fun with everything you learn, which will turn into cash. When we look at your house of romance, of creativity, of uh, risk-taking, gambling, physical uh, sorts of endeavors, we see that you're in this Four of Cups energy. So right now, it looks as though some of you may be in the energy of not focusing on it too much. So I feel like partnership of a very strong sort is here. I think that if you have adult children, if you are looking just to for frivolous fun, I'm not seeing that that's really going to be a focus for you. I feel as though your home takes your, your very close friends. So the fifth house is more about like being out. Oh, I'm going to go to the racetrack. I'll go to the movies. I'll go dancing at the nightclub. I don't think you're doing that this year. This year seems to be a year in which you, you might like to, but I'm seeing you totally absolutely entrenched with the people that you adore and love most. So we do have some creative projects that may have to be placed on hold, but look at this card in the 11th house. Again, your close associations, your friends, the groups, the people that you are already affiliated with are what the year is about. This is about meeting new people. And this will be a year that will not be involved with that. It will be, again, involved in this wonderful energy of the contacts, the, uh, contacts that you've already nurtured that are very strong. The people in your life that you care about and love, your friends, your associates are lined up. I actually feel like you might form some sort of a group of people who create another entity. So again, it might be more about a group effort as opposed to a, a personal effort. Now in your sixth house of everyday life, this is Virgo energy. This is a card of the workaholic. This is a Capricorn card in the sixth house of work and Virgos are known, it's Virgo energy, uh, for the sixth house, Virgos are known to be workaholics quite often. And so we see this year sort of follows. You know, you're very much involved in creating something. You look sometimes like you get stuck in the office. So I would say that, you know, at the, the days go very quickly. And we also see that you will be very devoted to some sort of obsessive-like health interest. I'm getting that for most of you in the 12th house, you have some sort of nine of swords. You're all up in your head about your health. And so you become very fixated on it. I think that, all, you know, the days of, 
wine and roses, eating, drinking, and being merry are going to be tied to great health habits with the strength card that are going to give you a tremendous amount of um, just very strong physical capabilities. I think you're going to be very almost dogmatic about it, almost just very obsessed with it. So let's go ahead and get a few clarifiers out. Let's see, what do we see for the Hermit card in the ninth house? What does that mean? I know you're going to be studying, but you also might be teaching behind closed doors, private students. The Hermit card is seeking wisdom. So what is this about? We have Six of Swords moving forward. Moving forward after a time that you felt you know, you're healing from something that did not work out, something that you planned on working out, could be publishing, could be broadcasting, could be like a YouTube channel where you really change your whole philosophy about what you're doing. You're going to rebuild. Daughter of Wands, throwing caution to the winds, really embracing. Look at this, the Nine of Pentacles again. So now we have the Nine of Pentacles in your home. We have the Nine of Pentacles as a what you are transmuting the energy of last year, which felt like something that didn't work the way you wanted it to, into a tremendous success, Gemini. Nine of Pentacles. You have made the transition from the death card, you know, something really not being, not turning out the way you wanted it, by throwing caution to the winds, by healing your, your emotional attachment to it, you do come in with a beautiful nine of coins. Okay, nine of coins, nine of coins. So it repeats itself. So let's look and see what this four of cups is about for you. What's the four of cups about in terms of your just party. This is really the party card. So tell us about that Four of Cups and the party card. So let's see what we have here. Ace of Wands. So you're going to be invited places. You're going to have fun. The Ace of Wands, though, is telling me that you will wait for invitations. They will come out of the blue. They will be quite shocking and what we see here, look at this, a ten of coins. So you have, you here you are in the early part of the year thinking that the year is not very exciting, that things are not as much fun. Out of the blue, we have a lightning bolt opportunity for you to make money and with your creative talents. So it looks as though by the month of May, and certainly um, if not May, by September, you have an opportunity. You are cashing in 10 of coins legacy. That is building legacy. So we see that what looks like something you're a little bit pessimistic about as you enter the year turns into a bonanza for you. Why do we have the devil card in your house of everyday work? Well, you're going to be head, heads down. You're not going to let anybody or anyone, you know, anything distract you. Four of coins, you're holding on to your money. It looks like you're paying off debt too. The emperor card strategizing, playing those chess pieces. And the justice card, you receive balance and justice by the... The end of 2022, it looks like your hard work pays off and you get a contract you didn't expect to get. So, and it is from creative abilities. So the Nine of Swords here is you being all up in your head. And what we see here, the card that clarifies it is a chariot card. So see, Gemini, you can get it all up in your head, all the way you, whatever way Geminis do it. They get up in their head. They get in their way. But you have to remember, listen, you have the star fairy looking over you. You're not alone this year and miracles are happening. Your hard work is paying off. And so as we see you enter the year, this nine of swords energy, 
is showing us that it you're going to get a big payoff. There's something that you do behind the scenes. It could be consulting. It could be helping people move forward in their lives. The chariot card is a honey, I'm home card. We get the hierophant. So there is something that is hidden. You may even have a relationship that you don't expect. Something that is, you know, probably a friendship. But the Hierophant card indicates to me that you're going to make a financial commitment to someone who you spend a lot of time with privately. And there we go. Two of Cups. So for some of you, you might be having a relationship that's not really very public. It might be on your mind, but look at this. There is a declaration of love. There is a commitment that takes place. This is a bride and groom giving vows. It's love. It's the soulmate card of the minor arcana and hierophant. Very traditional values. Very much the energy of a beautiful future for you with commitment. I feel again with the high priestess in your seventh house of marriage. I feel as though you you could even run off this year. Not run off. I don't think you would do that. But you may secretly just get married. I had a dear friend who did that. They went to the courthouse. She dressed beautifully and she announced it afterwards to all of her friends. And it was one of the most lovely couples 30 years later that I've ever met now. Gemini, that's what's going on with you for your overview. Now, I always like to pick two sets of cards that will describe either a thorny issue, a thorny relationship, or something that you will experience this year that will be very significant. All right, so what we have here is a sacred fire, the rebirthing bonfire. We have 2021 with that North Node in Gemini is always a very tough year. The years that we have the North Node in our sign is always a year in which Spirit is saying, we're going to take you back in. We're going to rebirth you again. We're going to teach you everything that you need to know to go forward and have the best life possible. So we have the rebirthing fire virtually coming back to life. The Nine of Cups, joy, laughter, eat, drink, be merry. Just a beautiful time. It could be a specific relationship, but it could be a time in your life that, you know, after a, a period of sadness or feeling alone, you really have a brand new beginning. Look at this, the Ten of Pentacles, a legacy marriage, a legacy marriage, something that is happening behind the scenes for which you have no awareness. And this looks like it's happening to you, Gemini, because a Ten of Coins here is a Ten of Coins here. The Chariot card, once again, the Chariot card repeats itself. Somebody is coming towards you. They're making a substantial offer. Ace of Coins, Ace of Coins. Somebody that is coming in. Six of Cups, two soulmate cards. Gemini, the Six of Cups, beautiful Beautiful hippopotamus company. This is Hierophant energy. It's soulmate energy. You don't see this coming. Somebody is making a de de declaration of love for which you are going to be utterly surprised. Something that's going to manifest in a commitment. The offer comes in. It's a strong offer. And you get out of your head and you begin to really embrace the fact that you have been protected all along. Everything happens a divine timing. So now when we look, oh, look at this. The chariot card is appearing again. So let's see. The chariot card, honey, I'm home. You're coming in fast and hot on something. Eight of coins. You know, we go from the eight of coins to the nine of coins to the ten of coins. So when we get that Ten of Coins, it's just exceptional. Again, the Ace of Pentacles, the Chariot. Here we go, the Ten of Coins. So this is a phenomenal, by the end of the year, you have traversed 
a territory and a time in your life that you didn't believe would actually come to fruition. So you are chasing, you are learning, you're in this energy of hermit energy, and look at 10 of coins here. It pays off. So keep learning, keep moving forward. Mother of pentacles, mother of pentacles, you are powerful, you are nurturing, you are healing. We have the emperor card, you are using strategy this is a strategy that you thought had failed but it did not fail you are using that strategy to come in to this beautiful star energy hopes and dreams for love coming true hopes and dreams for your life the star the star fairy so look at that you are look at this again nine of coins three times in this reading three times nine of coins nine of coins nine of coins you are not going to be single you are not going to be likely to be mingling but right now you will definitely not rush into anything you will take your time to make sure with the seven of cups energy pisces energy that you make just the right choice Gemini, what an amazing year. I'm so excited for myself as well as all of you. And I can't thank you enough for all of your love and support. I want to thank you so much and sending you love. Happy 2022.